Hello, thank you for checking out today's video. Today we'll be mainly looking at Hurricane Ian and a magnitude 3.7 earthquake near Bakersfield, California. The earthquake swarm near the Raconus Ridge continues. In the past 24 hours, we have seen 19 earthquakes near the Raconus Ridge. We can pull up seismograms near the coast of Ireland. Looking at these seismograms, the earthquakes near the Raconus Ridge don't particularly show up on the this BHE channel. I couldn't get any stations to load near Iceland. Here are stations on the coast of Greenland. Taking a look, there might be some signatures by the look at this data. But it's hard to tell. I'm just curious what stations are reading these quakes. There seems to be two stations in Newfoundland and they do not have any recent data. I guess possibly these seismometers in Iceland and the UK are picking those earthquakes up. I just need to look at the data with a finer detail. Okay, I realize in past videos I might have had the time incorrect but I have now said it correctly. So, September 27th at 14.08 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.3 in Turkey, followed by three aftershocks, 4.4, 4.0, and a 4.3. In Southern California, just east of Bakersfield, there is a new swarm of earthquakes. It looks like these might be on the White Wolf Fault Zone. And there is no making that text any larger. The USGS gives these quakes a location near Tachapi, California. Just north of there and just south of Bodfish and Lake Isabella, there is an ongoing earthquake swarm, however in the last 24 hours or so it does seem like it picked up ever so slightly there was also a magnitude 5.0 earthquake on the northern mid-atlantic ridge just off the coast of brazil this was september 27th at 1512 utc earlier this morning at 6 a.m local time there was a magnitude 3.3 earthquake just east of los angeles and this appears to have been on the homestead valley fault the USGS Did You Feel It reports seven responses. We can also see on these seismograms there was an earthquake earlier. We can see this other earthquake coming in at around 0803, and I can see that I missed a magnitude 3.7 earthquake in that swarm just south of Lake Isabella. This earthquake happened at 1 a.m. local time. This earthquake did generate a shake alert. It currently has 58 responses. Important information about this shake alert, it took 8.6 seconds to trigger the system for the system to know that an earthquake has happened. This earthquake had an initial estimate of a magnitude 3.4, it peaked at a magnitude 3.9. If this was, for example, a larger earthquake that would have done damage, an area like Ridgecrest would have got 10 seconds of warning. Palmdale would have gotten 21 seconds of warning. Los Angeles would have gotten 37 seconds of warning. The Did You Feel It map from the USGS shows a MI of at least 1.5 for most of the city of Bakersfield. This is the kind of shaking where you might feel it if you were really paying attention, but it would really just feel like a truck going by. So that's interesting that I missed that quake at first. Let's check out some more strong motion seismograms in this general area. On this station, both quakes coming in very well. Here's a BHE channel. This channel will kind of feel a little bit more distant earthquakes. It's not a really strong motion channel. 
Now, these are the locations of a few more seismograms I've pulled up around Los Angeles. We can see that on these seismograms, there just seems to be a lot of noise. Here's the HHN channel on a couple of stations. We can see this channel particularly picks up these earthquakes very well. Here we can see the quakes come in at this station just southeast of Lake Isabella. Coming over to Hurricane Ian, it did pass over Cuba. It is currently a Category 3 hurricane. It is gearing up to become a Category 4 and possibly go back down to 3 on this model before it ultimately makes landfall in Florida. Currently in Florida, there are tornado watches and warnings in effect. We can see this is the location of the two current warnings. This information will have expired by the time I upload this, but this information here says that a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Everglades National Park or 20 miles west of Homestead General Airport moving northwest at 20 miles per hour. And it looks like two minutes ago both of these warnings have now actually ended. Here's a camera in Key West from windy.com. It last updated 42 minutes ago. We can see lots of rain on the camera and the camera was being moved around. And there's lots of people out there still going doing stuff. There's another camera from Florida. This one last updated 17 minutes ago. This is the last 24 hours and so was the last clip. We can still see lots of rain and vehicles out there. It looks like there was an accident that the camera was tracking. Here is a traffic camera map out of Florida. Some of these are the same cameras that are on Windy. This camera, it looks like we are able to get a video feed. Still cars driving around out there. This camera goes about the furthest south I can find. Now maybe these people are actually evacuating. That does seem to be an awful a lot of traffic. Here's another camera a little bit more north on this highway. No cars visible at the moment. The camera's shaking pretty good. Here on this camera we can see current storm surge. Looks like all these cameras more north just don't want to load near South Venice Beach. Like they all have a thumbnail but I'm just not able to get any of these cameras to load up here. I do wonder if they are experiencing a power outage in that area right now. Alright, so this storm is going to be very interesting as it continues to track northward and makes landfall on Florida. Looks like in the past day, solar activity has picked up just ever so slightly. Thank you for checking out today's video. There was not much to cover today, but there will be more. Stay tuned.